Hello everyone and welcome back to Fate Stay Night. Previously, Shiro woke up as a hostage in the Einsburn estate. Well, no, not even the Einsburn estate. It was more like a freaking summer home made in the boonie woods and just specifically for the Holy Grail War. But the point is, Shiro told Ilya that on no uncer uncertain terms that he will never be his be her servant. And at that, Ilya left saying that she's going to go have Saber and Rin killed. So now Shiro needs to escape. And we also learned some interesting things. Mostly that um, Ilya's two attendants... Um, I completely forget their names, but they're probably Einsburns themselves. So that's pretty interesting. At least that's my theory so far. So anyway, let's load up. Yep, Ilya's gone. Ilya leaves the room. What she says is true. She doesn't understand threats or haggling. Everything she says is true. So I can't stay here forever. I have to escape and meet up with Saber before Ilya attacks her. Ah, oh, th damn. I shake my body and try to loosen the ropes. She really must think I can't escape as there's no one in the room. I can get out of these ropes by myself if there's no one keeping watch, but... Damn, my body is still not working well enough. Even though I can move, my limbs are heavy as steel and just moving them will run me out of breath. Ilya, she must have anticipated this. That's why she said I won't be able to get away. Certainly, I can't move. Even if I can get the rope off, I won't be able to escape if my body won't move to my satisfaction. It's not because I'm tired. Oh, yeah, I can't move because I saw Ilya's eyes. It must be what they call the mystic eyes. What? They say a superior magus is able to intervene magically with a target just by looking into their eyes. Whoa. News to me? A common form of mystic eyes is binding, so this must be something like that. As eyes perceive visual information, their disadvantage is that they are weak against suggestion. Okay, that's... That's, uh, really cool, but... That, if that's how it is, what's stopping you from suggesting someone by, like, farting near them? Noses can get information, too. Not mine, though. I can't smell. <laughs> Therefore, Amegus usually casts some protection over their eyes to shut out others' magical energy. Who knows what Tosaka would say if she found out I was bound by suggestion without even casting a spell. Well, they're just mystic eyes that are acquired with the use of magic. But I hear that monsters born with such eyes don't even need to look at the eyes of their target. These people exhibit their ability just by looking, but I hear such powers are rare. So, fortunately it doesn't seem like Ilya's mystic eyes are the special kind. This is just an intervention, sending her magical energy into my body. And there is a way to dispel myself. I can't move my body because Ilya's magical energy is invading my nerves. So if I remove that magical energy, I'll be able to move again. Okay, Ilya is an extraordinarily talented Magus. In order for this to work, she would have had to assume that even the simplest thing could work because there's no way Shiro could perform any sort of magic simple. If mud has collected, all I have to do is wash it out with water. Closing my eyes, I concentrate on the inside of my body. 
I don't have the skills to detect or remove someone's magical energy from within me. But such skills are unnecessary if the magical energy is not rooted in my body. If Ilya's magical energy is stagnant in my body, all I have to do is channel strong magical energy through me and push it out. <sighs> Sorry, it's a violent method, but it's all I can do. What, you're apologizing to yourself? Oh, yeah, he is. I apologize to my body as some consolation. All I have to do now is my daily routine. The ritual where I drive in a nerve into my back. No, it's not that anymore. Yeah, I was gonna say, he's doing this full time now. There's no need to make a new one now. I can just push a switch inside of me. I don't have to make a magic circuit inside me as I just have to switch my nerves into a magic circuit. Trace on. I cast a spell to suggest myself. Spells do not do anything to the world. It is only something that one casts on oneself as one intervening with the world. Words are the best way to make your body transform. An order that only works on the self to create a divine mystery. A very simple magic called spell. Huh? Basic structure. Analyzed. My circulation speeds up. My blood gains power. My body turns into a device for pumping magical energy. It must be assistance from that jewel Tosaka made me swallow. The creation of magical energy that usually takes me an hour, now only takes an instant. Composition. Analyzed. I don't even need to push the switch. I can just let the magical energy circulate and let my hands go. Well, I say push the switch, but I still haven't figured out where that switch thing is. The heat goes wild. Calmly controlling my speeding heartbeat, I let my hands go from the spinning cord. Uh. Blood spills out my mouth. Oh, that's not good. Some vein must have been cut or something. Uh, or something must have ripped inside me. I channeled enough magical energy to wash out the mud inside of me. So it's fortunate if I only ended up coughing up blood. And to add, I don't feel any pain. Maybe I don't feel pain because of that self-healing thing. Oh yeah! <laughs> Normally, uh, internal bleeding would be a panic-inducing sign of worry. But, um... If Shiro can regenerate his friggin' lungs and stomach, then we're good. It's an abnormality I don't understand, but I'm just happy to have it at times like this. It's my greatest and only strength for any wounds to heal if they're not fatal. So like, I'm just wondering when Shiro first noticed this. Like has this really been a thing he's experienced his whole life or did this begin like after he summoned Saber? And for ma that matter, something that I'm still puzzling about, in one of the earliest days when we followed Shiro right after summoning Saber, he went out the front door of his estate with Sakura to go to school, and Sakura freaked out noticing that his, that his arm was bleeding and he had a big cut on his arm. I, don't, I still don't know a single thing about that or why it happened. But, whatever. What I should be careful of is relying on it. Because the cause is unknown, if I get myself injured relying on the healing, the healing might go away the next time. So I shouldn't rely on such a vague miracle. Alright, the rope next. I loosen the rope. 
My wrists are bruised, but my hands weren't tied tightly. I don't think it was Ilya that tied me up, but it wasn't tied too tightly. First of all, Ilya wouldn't be able to carry me here. Is there someone other than Ilya who isn't too strong? Oh, right, in this timeline... Uh, yeah, the two servants never came in. No, that's right. Definitely not Berserker. If he tied me up, my wrists would have been twisted off right then. I get up from the chair with a stupid remark. <clears throat> it's good that I can move freely now, but it seems the movement was too violent. I don't have any wounds, but magical energy is still raging inside of me. Just moving causes my body, be, my body to be pummeled from the inside. It must be the pain. Dizziness and nausea assail me, and my limbs are senseless. I won't be able to get back home before Ilya like this. I'm being too faint-hearted. This is no time to think like that. I slap my cheeks and start walking. Uh, uh, as I start to lean on the wall and head to the door, I hear a sound on the other side of the wall. Footsteps. A few of them, too. These people, approaching while talking, stop in front of the door. A patrol? Damn, why do they have to come now? There's no time to hide. I should... Ooh. Ooh, this is spicy. Ooh. Okay. Let's drop a save. What choice number is this? 25. Fate choice. Number 25. Okay, what are our options? I have to fight. I'll make the first move when the door opens. <laughs> Shiro can barely stand. He has to lean against the wall. This is how he gets his butt kicked. Uh, second. I'm in no condition to fight. I'll sit in the chair and pretend I'm tied up. Oh. That's clever. That's really clever. I like that. That might just work the best. And how about that bed? Hiding under it would be a great move, because... Um, that would make the servants walk in, see that the hostage is missing, they'll panic and leave, giving Shiro an opening to escape. But that would raise the alarm. Well, obviously, I have to fight. That's, that's the st most stupid option, so let's choose that. The one who moves first will win, so I have to fight. It's too late to hide now, and I don't have time to waste. I have to get out of here as quickly as possible and go home to Saber. The door opens. Standing with my back to the wall by the door, I ready myself for the patrol entering the room. Huh? The patrol just opens the door and does not enter the room. Oh, hold on. You can see the chair from the entrance. Since I'm not tied to the chair anymore, they figured out figure out this, the situation from that? <clears throat> this is bad. If they call for people right now, it'll get harder to escape. I'll just have to go out myself and beat the patrol. I jump from the wall to the door. And... The patrol must have known I was hiding as they enter the room as soon as I jump out. <clears throat> Damn! I can't stop now. Whoever it is, I'll just beat them and leave the room. Well, really? Well, that was fast. <laughs> Do not move. I will not take your life if you... Huh? Shiro? My body stops dead. My mind goes blank. 
The person that I must go and save is standing right in front of me. Saper? Why are you here? Uh, I should not even need to tell you why. There is no need for a reason for a servant to protect her master. It is only natural to come and save you if you are held captive. <laughs> of course. Um, well, I'm asking you how you knew I was captured. No, more importantly, why are you here? This is Ilya's hideout. This is no place for you. I should be asking that. What were you doing? She is curiously well for her circumstances. Like, there's not even a single bead of sweat on her. She was bedridden last we saw her, and disappearing at that. Which almost makes me want to think that maybe this is some sort of trick. But, we'll see. I told you so many times not to go off by yourself, yet you were so easily captured by Iliusville and taken to a place like this. Okay, well, she is speaking about events in the past. That certainly did happen, so maybe this is the real Saber. You're disqualified as a master. I shall not be satisfied unless you apologize to me in some way. Ugh. I was certainly careless. But why are you here? You can't move properly, right? What are you thinking coming to Ilya's castle in that state? No, what are you thinking? A servant's role is to protect its master. You have been captured, so it does not matter if this is Ilyasville's castle. Saber speaks clearly. Her figure is just as it was before. It's different from the figure sleeping, weak and in pain. Shiro, why are you silent all of a sudden? Did you suffer any wounds while you were held captive? Oh, no, that's not it. I'm fine. More than that, I'm glad you look well. Doesn't Shiro have his own blood covering his chest because he, like, vomited out blood? I really regained my peace of mind. I'm surprised Saber's here, but I'm happy she's back to normal. It's just selfish prejudice. <laughs> but I think Saber is meant to act like this. I'm sorry, Saber. I don't quite understand, but you came to save me, right? Uh, yes. It is only natural for a servant to save her master. Thank you. You're a godsend. I'm glad. There is no problem now. All that's left is to escape with Saber and... Hey. Why can I see Tosaka? T -t Tosaka? Um... Is she really seriously there? You seem to be doing better than I expected. Maybe there was no need for us to come, huh? Why would she? Oh, of course, this is... This is Ilyas Veal's castle, yes. Um, they have an alliance against Berserker. Yes, this is the one thing they will cooperate on. Oh, an archer! Ooh, neat. That is what I said, Rin. You should have left to me a Shiro B. This kind of a man causes trouble for the people around him and he survives. This was a good opportunity. He would have died if you had abandoned him. That is inexcusable, Archer. I am the one that asked for help, but you do not have the right to insult Shiro. <laughs> So you act like that now that your master is safe, huh? The master is like this, and, you're th and the servant's the same. I guess you have no respect for your allies. Oh, Archer, too cool for school. Well, 
We are to fight eventually. It will be easier to fight than if no feelings are held. Way to make it awkward. Saber falls silent as if he hit a sore spot. This guy... Does he not get along with Saber either? That's it. You still remember the situation we're in, right? We don't have time to stand around chatting. We have to retreat before Iliasville gets back. Uh, uh, hold on a second. Did you guys come here knowing this place is Ilya's castle? No, first of all, Ilya went out intending to kill them. Then, does that mean Ilya and Tosaka missed each other? That's okay. I think Ilya's heading to my place now. Oh, oh, it's that's Shiro. That's okay. I think Ilya's heading to my place now. If you guys didn't come here, I think you would have ended up fighting her. Yes, it seems so. I confirmed Ilya and Berserk are leaving. Well, we wouldn't have come in like this if it wasn't for that. I see. Tosaka took such drastic measures because she knew Ilya went outside. She's as direct as ever, but that turned out for the best this time. Anyways, we'll talk later. I came prepared when I realized this was Einsburn's base, but it'd be great if we don't have to meet them. We can't match Berserker anyway with Saber in that state. Tosaka steps between me and Saber. Tosaka, what do you mean by Saber state? She looks fine and she's just like normal. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate Archer closing his eyes in the background. He's probably thinking, this son of a bitch. For love of God. <laughs> hey now, convenient things like that never happen. Saber hasn't healed at all. Can you tell just by looking that she's barely even standing? Rin, I thought you promised not to talk about that. Sorry, I'm going back on that. It's bad to hide it, and it's not something that we should keep from him anyway. That is true, but... She hesitates painfully. That makes me realize that her condition has not improved at all. Saber, is that true? Yes, what Rin says is true. It is embarrassing, but I cannot fight a saber right now. All I will be able to do is be your shield. Huh, that's what I thought. You wouldn't listen and you wanted to come with us when you can't even arm yourself. I bet she intended to protect her master instead of fighting. W what? My breathing stops. What is that? She's so weak she can't arm herself? What ridiculous things is she saying about being my shield? I am sorry, Shiro. I know I am a failure as a servant with you uh, with a body like this, but I am able to act as a shield. I am sure you are dissatisfied, but please accept that for now. That's it. Why do you always think such stupid things? Don't kid me. Of course I'm not satisfied. Tosaka, why did you bring Saber? Don't you know Saber's more important than me? Wow, he just went out and said it. Wh what? I objected too, but Saber didn't listen and only Saber knew where you were anyway. I knew it was dangerous, but I still needed Saber. But still... I start to yell that she shouldn't have brought her, but I stop myself. I'm in no position to criticize Tosaka. The root of all this was me getting captured. Tosaka and Saber just did what they thought was right. Disputes are good, but you should stop now, Rin. 
A master will be sensitive to changes in her dwelling, and we do not have time to explain things in a leisurely fashion. Yes, thank you. Uh, you're right. Ilias Veal should be hurrying back by now. All right, we'll leave the conversation until later. We have to get out of this castle first. That's okay, right, Shiro? Shiro, we should... Well, but... If Saber is like she was last night, isn't it difficult for her to even walk? I can't let Saber push herself if she's in that state. Honestly, it seems you take me too lightly. Huh? Saber? Even though my magical energy is depleted, I can fight better than you, Shiro. To me, you seem to be the one about to disappear. I do not think Rin has noticed, but your magical energy is disrupted, correct? Ooh. Oh, uh, no. This isn't anything serious. It's fine if I bear with it. I'm, uh, fine, really. Then I am the same as well. It is painful, but it is not unbearable. I believe things are going too fast for you to grasp the situation, but let us follow Rin for now. If we are to talk, we can do so once we get home. Saber urges me forward. Jeez, uh, I can't even worry if she says so with such an expression. You're right. I have a lot to talk about, but I'll leave it until we get home safely. Yes, about Saber's body and thanking her for coming to save me. That dream is not something I should ask her about right now. Alright, let's go, Saber. Nodding, I move my body earnestly. I sweat with each step, but I can't complain. Saber came all the way here with her weakened body. Oh, wow, that's pretty impressive. I dig the ceiling. Um, okay, now's probably the, good, the best time to reload, because... This is probably where everything meets up, so we're we reload, reload to the choice, but first, let me double check the relationship. Okay, Saber is at three and a half, and by reloading... Um, the relationship now is... We did get half a point. Oh. Huh. I guess Shiro's statement about Saber not f having to fight was something she liked. I mean, Saber was blushing quite a bit there, but... Huh. Freaking weird. <laughs> well, <laughs> considering who's at the door, this choice is going to be pretty amusing. I have no time to think. I don't have a chance of winning with this body, so I should avoid fighting until I feel better. Alright. I cross my arms and try to pretend that I'm tied up. The door opens. Is it Ilya or someone from the castle? Anyways, just before the person enters the room, I manage to sit down in the chair and put my arms behind my back. Are you all right, Shiro? I'm stunned. I seriously wonder if this is just a comfortable illusion. You are tied up. I will untie you, so... Oh, no. The rope isn't tied. I stick out my hands to show her. Oh, that's, that's, um, Shiro. Oh, no, the rope isn't tied. I do not understand. Were you not held captive here? Well, um, 
I managed to free myself and was about to escape, but someone came, so I pretended to still be captured. I see. You tried to take the enemy's guard down and make your escape more certain. Saber is impressed. Oh, don't tell me her relationship bar is just going to be capped out at this. <laughs> well, I won't tell her that I didn't think about what to do after that. Saber? You're a saber, right? Saber and not an illusion, right? I get up and touch Saber. <laughs> oh, man. Sh Shiro... Please, hold on. If you touch me like that... Yeah, you're real. Oh, but why are you here? Uh, I should not even need to tell you why I'm here. There is no need for a reason for a servant to protect her master. It is only natural to come and save you if you are held captive. Um, well, I'm asking you how you knew I was captured. No, more importantly, why are you here? This is Ilya's hideout. This is no place for you. I think this is looping. I think this is what we've seen. Yeah. Yes, exactly. I recognize this phrasing exactly, so... Let's see. Yeah, it's the same. We can reload now. Um, actually, I want to go to the scene transition, actually, and look at the relationship chart. Should be soon. Oh, uh, don't read that. Um, okay, so... Huh. It didn't go up at all. Interesting. Wait, did anything change for Rin? Crap, I wasn't looking at Rin. Ah, uh, well, I don't, I don't know why anything would. Okay, let's try the final choice. How about that bed? <sighs> I have no time to think. I don't have a chance of winning with this body, so I should do my best not to be found. How about that bed for the time being? What was that? What was that freaking Game Boy Advance sound? I jump into the bed and hide by pulling the sh- oh. <laughs> Shiro, no! No! I didn't even think for a second that the choice was about under the covers. Oh, jeez. <laughs> you know exactly what they're going to think, right? The sound of the door opening follows. Ilya might be back, or it might be someone from the castle. Either way, that someone must be shocked and bewildered at the vanished prisoner, and must be looking at the empty chair with blank amazement. Huh. <laughs> It's just soft and perfect. The person is standing in speechless shock at this perfect closed door trick, and... What are you playing around for, Shiro? And says so in an utterly astonished tone. Huh? I take my face out of the soft bed. I asked you what you were doing there. I do not want to think this, but do not tell me you intended to hide in there. Um... Well... Um... I climb out of the bed. Actually, I was hiding. I ask her with my eyes whether I was being na naive. Beyond belief. If I was the enemy, I would cut you in half without mercy. <laughs> um. I'm unable to answer back. 
I think I just showed her something really embarrassing. Um, well, Saber, why, why are you here? I should not even tell you why. Oh, yeah, okay, this is a loop. This is a loop. This is the loop. Yes. Okay, let's skip ahead. Okay, um, let's see what the relationship is now. I hope it reset to zero. I really hope it reset to zero. That would just be hilarious. Wow, it actually didn't change. Well, okay. There's there's no positive improvement for Saber, so let's uh let's just continue on in this timeline. Yes, this is the one I am choosing. Let's go. Wow. As soon as we leave the room, I gasp. Is this a hallway? From this museum-like hallway, I guess the building is really big. Hey, this is no time to be fascinated. Even if we leave the castle, there's a big forest outside. If we don't hurry, it'll be morning. A big forest? Then is this place really on a mountain? That forest a few hours drive away from Miyama City? Miyama? I thought it was Fuki. Uh-oh. Yeah, this is Einsburn's secret castle. Once we get out of this castle, we'll have to spend a few hours getting out of the forest. It's night now, so we'll make our way out by the morning. Make our way out by the morning. Tosaka runs down the hallway without hesitation. I guess she's heading to the back entrance she snuck in through. I knew it was night already, but how long was I captured for? I thought it was only half a day, but it might have been longer. You were captured by Iliasville this morning. It has been half a day since then. The date has changed, so that means you have been captured for a day now. Ugh, I see. I'm ashamed. No, please, do not be. You are safe even though you have been captured by Iliusville for so long. That must be proof that your mind did not give in, even though your body was held captive. <laughs> that might be true. Yes, Iliusville looks like a young girl, but she is a Magus of Einsburn. If you, if you were to yield to her, you would not have been yourself. It is not like I did not consider that possibility. I came to this castle prepared to find you dead in the worst case. Oh, that's still her. Okay. It is not like I did not consider that possibility. I came to this castle prepared to find you dead in the worst case. Um. So I am glad I am able to see you again. Since my master is safe, I cannot lose either. Saber says so with a faint smile. I feel the same way. I was so worried, wondering whether Saber was alright. Hey, are you really trying to escape? <laughs> she should be ten times as angry, I swear to god. If, if I were them... And the threat of Ilya and Berserker was bearing down on me. I would be full sprinting. I'll go on ahead if you're too slow. Tosaka yells at us from the corner ahead. Ugh, this is no time to be talking. Let's hurry, Saber. I run, urging Saber on as well. Ugh. Every step brings unpleasantness and pain, as if boiling water is pouring into my veins. But I can run if I grit my teeth. 
Forcing my aching body to move, I follow Tosaka. Saber is running behind me as if escorting a sick person. She must be in pain. She's acting firm, but Saber's in no condition to move properly. Saber, if you're in pain... I stop myself from asking her if she needs a hand. If I said that, Saber would stubbornly try to run on her own. I should just watch for now. If Saber looks tired enough that she can't make excuses, I can carry her then. Saber is really troublesome. This stubborn girl won't rest unless I do something that forceful. And so? <laughs> yeah, I thought he might try this. Following Tosaka's lead, we reach the exit of the castle. Oh! Oh, I... I thought he was about to pick her up and carry her. <laughs> this is the main entrance. Tosaka? Boy, these Einsburns are rich as hell. Uh, why are you saying something so obvious? This is what entrances are for, right? This is the fastest way if you want to get out or come in. They really came in through the front entrance. Okay. Tosaka runs down the stairs. Well, I'm in no position to complain. Saber and I descend the stairs into the hall. I guess this is the lobby. So that must mean we'll be outside if we go through that large door at the end. Alright, we're doing well to have gotten this far. The problems come after we get into the forest, but it's night and all, so maybe we'll be able to get out of the main road under cover of darkness. It'll be too, li It'll be too late when Illysville comes back and finds out we're not here anymore. It'll be morning by the time she gets back. Hey, what's with that unsatisfied look on your face? No, it's nothing. I was just realizing again that you're a big shot. Huh? You realize the weirdest things in the weirdest places. Like entering the enemy's base from the main entrance and the way she's acting so confidently? Oh well, let's go outside. I remember the way back so we won't get lost. We head for the entrance. A lawn hall stretches from the lobby and a large door can be seen on the end. It's amazing, the hall is about 30 meters long. I think to myself that this place really is a castle, and the instant I start to walk... Oh, you're going home already? That's too bad, after you came so far. The voice of the girl who shouldn't be here echoes through the room with a faint laugh. Um, I turn around instantly. Everybody stops. The instant I turn around and see the enemy, I understand that I will be killed if I turn my back on it again. Ilias feel. Oh, Ilias feel. Tosaka's voice is shaking. Across the hall, on the stairs we came down is something that should not be there. It's strangely like the time before. Ilya is standing above us with Berserker standing behind her. I think I know what's going to happen. Ilya is going to invite everyone to a nice chat. And they can't refuse. Berserker's presence is overwhelming. As I can feel the servant's strength now, I can understand how much of a monster he is. How absurd. He's not at a level Saber could match even in her normal condition. 
it probably wouldn't even be a fight. That thing is not something that can be beaten in battle. Defeating Berserker means eliminating, eliminating it without fighting it. In other words, you should have avoided him if we didn't want to die. I like that Shiro refers to Berserker as an it. That's probably the most apt description. Good evening. I am happy you have come to see me, Rin. Ilya's voice is cheerful. That smile is the same as it was eight days ago. Innocent and merciless emotion that will kill any insects she catches. I understand now. We won't be able to get away. I can't stop Ilya no matter what I do. Even if I can get Ilya's attention, that doesn't mean everyone else can get away. What's wrong? It's boring if you don't talk. I'm giving you some time, so I think it would be best if you at least leave behind a will. She giggles. But we don't have such composure. We will run for the entrance if there is an opening. Even though we know there will be no such chance, we can only wait for it. Then let me ask you one thing. But still... Oh, that's... Oh, it's Rin! Tosaka takes a step towards Ilya. Ilyasville, I didn't feel you coming back. So were you actually hiding all this time? That's right. I didn't go anywhere. I was just watching you make a fool of yourselves. I see. Does that mean the one who went out was a fake? Yes, I knew you people were coming after all. I'm the master here, so I have to welcome the guests, right? The giant figure suddenly disappears. I don't know if it jumped or just moved there. Berserker appears in the middle of the lobby with a whirlwind. We're done for now. If we retreat, we'll be slashed in half the instant we turn our backs. But we'll be killed as well if we stay like this. The only path left is to challenge that mass of death, knowing it'll be pointless. Are you done talking now? Then let's begin, Berserker. The girl raises her hand as if performing some kind of a ritual, looks down at us, and... I swear, I will not let anyone go today. She declares so with delight and murderous intent. Uh-oh. Light shines in Berserker's eyes. The servant that has obeyed Ilya up to now has his mind released and identifies us as his enemies. Um... Okay... A gritting sound. Tosaka? Tosaka grits her teeth hard as if regretting something. Archer, can you hear me? She murmurs in a quiet voice without turning around. A little while is enough. Keep him busy by yourself. She orders her servant to die. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's good phrasing. Archer does not answer. Ridiculous. Are you insane, Rin? Archer is no match for Berserker by himself. We'll run while you do that. Archer, buy us time until we escape. Ignoring Saber, Tosaka continues her instructions. Her voice is cold, killing her emotions. 
Archer, who has been silent as if pondering something, quietly nods and... That is a smart move. I will be able to escape if you escape first. Independent action is a specialty of Archer's, after all. Takes a step forward as if to protect Tosaka. Berserker does not move. Only Ilya's laughter can be heard from above. Well, I'm surprised. You're saying such an unknown servant is going to stop my Heracles? Well, you have a cute side to you, Rin. Neither Tosaka nor Archer has the composure for a rebuttal. Tosaka and Archer know the fact better than anyone. Archer steps forward. He is empty-handed as usual. Tosaka is watching Archer's back. She must not have anything to say to him. Tosaka should know her command is unreasonable. Because she told her servant to die so that we can escape. Archer, I... Tosaka starts to say something. But... By the way, Rin, may I confirm one thing? Archer interrupts her words in a cool voice, unsuited to the situation. Fine. What? Tosaka looks at Archer with a downcast look. Still looking at Berserker. Yeah, buying you some time is fine, but... You won't mind if I beat that thing, right? Archer's the coolest. Archer says something unexpected. Archer! Yeah, you don't need to hold back. Give him a beating, Archer. I see. Then I shall meet your expectations. Ooh. New music? Oh. Archer moves forward. There are only ten meters between him and Berserker. That thing should be able to close that distance in an instant. Huh. You're underestimating me. Fine. Go on, Berserker. You can slash that stuck-up guy into pieces. Ilya speaks in hysterical voice. Um... Okay, I know it's about to cut away, but this seems like something I should really turn voices on for. Um... Config? Voice. Yes. Tosaka turns her back, not paying attention. We'll be going. Getting outside means victory for us. Tosaka starts to run, taking both Saber and my hands. <laughs> Saber follows Tosaka without objection. I start to run to the entrance, leaving Archer behind. But from behind me... He stops me, still with his back to me. I turn around, letting go of Tosaka's hand. In the lobby, now far away, is the back of the man facing Berserker. Understand, you are a maker, not a fighter. Berserker charges. Archer stares at his enemy without backing off, still empty-handed. Do not think about other things. There is only one thing you can do. So master that one thing. Archer raises his hand. I don't know when he got it, but in his hand is that short sword. 
イメージするものは常に最強の自分だ外敵などいらぬお前にとって戦う相手とは自身のイメージに他ならない Do not forget What you must imagine is always that you yourself are the strongest You do not need outside enemies For you The one you have to fight is none other than your own image The red back sinks Berserker's attack rages I start to run without seeing the clash of the two Tosaka and Saber are, all, are already at the entrance. I run without turning around. The red back tells me to just go. Oh, <laughs> well. That's gonna be a good place to end things, I think. Ooh. Archer, you're cool. Oh, I really hope this isn't where he dies, but. God, I don't know. Anything could happen, honestly. I mean. I know we're only about, like, halfway through the fate route, but. This is the fate route. For all I know, Archer could really die. Now, I know the second route, Unlimited Blade, works. Um. I know that follows Rin. And therefore, Archer as well. Um. But there's no telling whether that's just gonna be the same exact events, just following Rin's perspective, or if it's gonna take the story in a new direction. I have no way to know. But. Archer's such a weird guy. It feels like he has animosity towards Shiro sometimes, but at the same time, he gives such great advice. <sighs> What a noble weirdo. <laughs> <sighs> well, gentlemen, I think in the next few videos, we are in for some high. High impact action. So, I hope you'll join me then. I'm Zephyr the Jester. This has been more Fate Stay Night. I thank you for watching. Hopefully, I'll catch you next time. So, until then, please take care.